there is no more African security threats or global security threats. There is, um, there are interconnected security threats today, given the nature and evolution of threats currently, that if you look at the evolution of uh, uh, security threats on the continent and globally, they used to be emerging. There is, there is a couple of years ago, terrorism was emerging threats. After that, it has moved to being a permanent threat, and it depends on how we address them. So the evolution and the nature of threats today guide us to say they are all global threats, and we need to address them uh, through shared responsibility, but also having the shared narrative, understanding what these threats has in common and bring us together because that's really where the, the, the big question is today. Well, I think um, there is um, a, lot of, um, a lot of evolution when it comes to Africa's having uh, its voice heard, particularly when it comes to secu addressing security issues, because the threats, as I said, are common. Uh, and they're shared, the, 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 the responsibility that we have to exert, um, have vis-à-vis uh, -vis those threats are today um, uh, uh, shared responsibility. Um, I think Africa has to always speak with one voice. And I think to leverage um, our, our, uh, our standing in the global security landscape today, we need not only to understand these threats better, be prepared at national level, but make sure that uh, maintaining peace is a global, is a regional agenda and a global agenda. For me, that's the first one. So it's at the level of the narrative. The second one is how do we adapt the tool that we have to respond uh, to these threats at regional level and also at, at a global level. And leveraging our voice and our understanding of these threats mean that we work closely with the international community, but also we make sure that internally, when I say internally, internal to member states, uh, African states, but also regionally, there is enough um, uh, mobilization, political mobilization, but also financial <laughs> uh, mobilization that um, uh, actually will help uh, to respond to these threats. So it's not only a one-way uh, ticket. It's about common destiny and shared responsibility. The forum initially was, was set up really to respond to, to, to those two imperatives, um, which, which are to actually make sure that the provision of security on the continent, given the nature of, of conflict that we are facing and the nature of, of the threats we are, security threats we are we're facing, um, to um, bring African closer to the decision making, but also African to take matters in their hands. That's the entire uh, purpose of having the Tana Forum. How do we create a platform that will bring uh, stakeholders together, including decision makers uh, from the African continent and, and uh, outside of the continent, to uh, think very candidly and discuss very candidly solutions that are African on, but with a perspective uh, on the international the relationship between Africa and the rest of the world. And I, as I said, it's about taking more responsibility, but those responsibility are not for Africa alone when it comes to dealing with security threat. So that's precisely why the Tana Forum was set up, making sure that we understand those threats, but at the same time, we discuss them and find solutions that are homegrown, but uh, homegrown mean also that you have to consult with the other others to be able to do it together. Mm -hmm.
Mm-hmm.